At this current point in time, Sonic the Hedgehog has been around for nearly 30 years. With the franchise having been alive for so long, Sonic has had a ton of video games. And needless to say, in those games, he's done a ton of crazy things. Whether he's saving the world, fighting giant water creatures, or even just being summoned into magic books, Sonic seems to have done it all. What's going on guys, it's Sonicsta, and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing with you the top 5 things that Sonic has ever done. Now in this particular video, I'm only going to be talking about game canon things, which means I won't be talking about anything related to the movie or the comics as well. And of course, this video will be in completely my opinion, so if you disagree with me on any of these picks, let me know in the comment section down below. And lastly, if you do end up liking the video, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button, it really helps me and my channel out a ton. Oh, and also turn on that post notifications bell, that way you never miss a video. But without any further introduction, let's just jump right off into the video. At my number 5 spot, I'm gonna have to say the supersonic transformation in Sonic Unleashed. Now, I guess you could see it as just a regular supersonic transformation, but in my opinion, it's one of the best transformations we've ever seen from Sonic. Visually speaking, it's really clean, and also it comes at the exact right moment. All the emeralds leave each Gaia temple and swarm around Sonic, and that causes Sonic to have a great reaction and become supersonic. All in all, the transformation in itself is really satisfying to watch. Not to mention, right after this, Sonic goes into charge into perfect dark Gaia. So in this scene, not only do we see Super Sonic's transformation, but we also see what Sonic is fighting against. It's also really cool to see the size comparison between Super Sonic and perfect dark Gaia. Dark Gaia is much bigger than Super Sonic, so it's really cool to see the size comparison and also see that the odds are completely stacked against you. This was definitely one of my favorite Super Sonic transformations, and it also still is to this very day. But anyway, let's move on to my number 4 spot. At my number 4 spot, I have to say it's the end of Sonic and the Secret Rings. In this scene, Sonic is granted 3 wishes from a genie. Now not only is this scene very pleasing and satisfying to look at, it also delivers one of the best lines I believe in the entire series. I cannot be denied by that filthy rat! Why? I told you, I'm not a rat! I'm a hedgehog! To this day, I feel like it's one of those scenes I feel like never fails to give me chills. While Secret Rings wasn't necessarily my favorite Sonic game, it's still hitting all the right spots. Now the reason why I believe this scene definitely deserves a high spot on this list, which is number 4, is because it possesses all the qualities that Sonic needs to showcase. From this one scene alone, I feel like you can really understand Sonic as a character. Sonic and the Secret Rings may not have been the best Sonic game, but it sure did have one of the best cutscenes. But anyway, let's move on to my number 3 spot. Now for this spot, I feel like this one belongs to the best supersonic transformation there is. And in my opinion, that one has to be the Super Shadow and Supersonic transformation in Sonic Adventure 2. Now this one was actually really hard for me to pick because this one could easily be the Supersonic, Super Shadow, and Super Silver transformation in Sonic 06. And for those of you who know me and watch my content before, you'll know that I actually really do love and enjoy Sonic 06 for what it is. So having to choose against it really wasn't the easiest thing for me to do. However, what really went into it was the buildup for each of these scenes. You see, in Sonic 06, Sonic became Super Sonic because he was kissed by Elise. This was far from my favorite method of transformation for Super Sonic. However, in SA2, Sonic and Shadow actually didn't even like each other from the very beginning. The two of them had a rivalry, and at this point in the game, they just came off fighting one another. So I guess the cool thing about this scene is the two of them put their differences aside and worked together to become their super forms, and also to take down the final hazard. This scene feels really climactic as we also hear the Crush 40 Live and Learn song in the background. In all honesty, the Sonic 06 super transformation is really amazing, but this one I feel like takes the cake. In my personal opinion, I feel like this is the best super transformation we've seen in the entire series. But with all that out of the way, let's move on to my number 2 pick. Now this one may seem a bit obscure, especially if you're not an avid Sonic fan. However, I feel like this number 2 spot definitely belongs to when Sonic activated the power of the fake Chaos Emerald. This scene does a great job of showcasing Sonic's potential as well as his power. At this point in the game, Sonic had never even used Chaos Control with a real Chaos Emerald, so for him to be able to do that with the power of a fake Emerald is really impressive. I mean, even Shadow the Hedgehog was pretty impressed when it happened. You actually saved me, you know. It was a Chaos Emerald, wasn't it? But there's no way you could have activated the Chaos Control using an emerald that's fake. This scene was definitely one of my favorites in Sonic history, and I feel like it definitely deserves more recognition than it already gets. Seeing as though if Sonic was not able to activate Chaos Control with the fake emerald, he would have been dead, it really highlights just how powerful he really is. This scene showcased Sonic going beyond his limits and just testing how powerful he is, and I love it for that sole reason. 
In all honesty, SA2 is really unpredictable, and especially in this very scene. This has to be one of my favorite moments that Sonic has ever had with the Chaos Emeralds, and thus I believe it deserves the number 2 spot on this list. However, there is still one moment in Sonic history that I believe is much better than this moment. But before we can get to that, let's get to some of the honorable mentions. And with all that out of the way, let's get to my number one spot. Now you could have easily guessed this one, but I believe it definitely belongs to the Sonic Unleashed intro. In this one five minute intro that we see for Sonic Unleashed, we have the entire character for Sonic the Hedgehog. In just five minutes, you truly understand who Sonic is as a character. Not only that, but visually this whole opening feels like it's something straight out of a Pixar movie. It's easily one of the most visually pleasing things the entire Sonic franchise has to offer. And just while watching it, it's really easy to forget that this opening was made more than 10 years ago. Visually speaking, we really don't see a whole lot of this stuff happening in current Sonic games. Right out the gate, we see Sonic vs. Eggman and also a Super Sonic appearance. From the music, the characters, and also the explosions in the background make all of this so satisfying to watch. I even believe that many Sonic fans would seem to agree when you tell them that this is the best Sonic opening we've ever seen. Sure, there's openings out there like the Sonic Riders intro, but this one really does a great job of setting up the story and also developing the characters. Seeing as though in the intro, Sonic starts off being really cocky and arrogant when it comes to Eggman, but towards the end when he turns into the Werehog, he becomes more aggressive and irritated. If you want to see me talk more about Sonic the Hedgehog intros, I have an entire video dedicated to it, and I suggest you give it a watch. This introduction is satisfying to say the least. But anyway, those are my top 5 Sonic the Hedgehog moments. What's going on guys? Thank you all so much for sticking around to the end of the video. But now I want to hear from you. What are your top 5 Sonic the Hedgehog moments? Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. I would definitely love to see what you guys think is the top 5 Sonic moments. And of course, if you did end up liking the video, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Again, it really helps me and my channel out a ton. And one last thing before I go here is I want to take the time to shout out some of my amazing channel members. You guys are honestly and truly some of the best motivators I've ever had. Thank you all so much for your endless support and motivation. Without you guys, these videos wouldn't even be possible. If you want to become a member of my channel, there'll be more information in the description down below. But with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching. This is Sonicsta, signing out. Have a blessed day, y'all. Why are you playing that trash?